Senator Scullion. Uh, here, here. It's very rare I rise in this place, uh, Mr Acting President, uh, and feel sorry for those on the other side, uh, particularly my colleague from the Northern Territory. But uh, uh, I think it's reasonable, I think, to put on the public record perhaps why they are taking this position. And the reason my heart goes out to them is that uh, I'm actually quite sure the leather is softer on that side. I, I, it's a long time since I've sat over there, but it was certainly a lot more comfortable. Uh, and there are a lot of benefits that go with government that uh, want you to make you stay in that side. And, uh, the, the, the sad thing about Labor's position more generally today is that it's, it's, it's almost had that just a very light spray of green uh, over, only, over all of the motives. And I think it's really important to, to, have, a, to have a look at the motive today. Uh, Senator Crossan stands in this place today, as she always does, uh, on any issues that are in regard to the Northern Territory and says that we're moving along in statehood. And I've been very pleased to stand in this place on the, mo on the most recent uh, issue in terms of uh, legislating for euthanasia and supporter in that in, in, in that uh, regard. But I think if you look at the motive for all of this behaviour, the motive is to simply stay in government. That's, that's the rawest deal. And of course the Greens have a great deal of influence, as they should uh, uh, in, in those circumstances, to ensure that this government does what it's told. And today we see the Labor government being uh, pretty compliant and uh, the Greens should be very pleased with that. Uh, they seem to be behaving appropriately and they're not being too naughty or doing things that we don't require. Um, but so if we look to motive, um, uh, perhaps we should examine again the Greens' motives. Motive is very important in life. You know, why is it we're moving along with this? Why is it that suddenly Bob Brown has a terrific love affair with the Territories? Very keen on the Territories very keen on the people who, who live in the territories, but particularly keen on the legislation in regard to the Northern Territories. And as has been indicated today, we seem to have had a uh, hardly a consistent approach. Um, we're standing here today basically saying, look, the Commonwealth should not interfere in the Northern Territory. We should not have in the Australian Capital Territory. Poor devils, you know, we, uh, we, sh we, sh we should allow them exactly the same, same rights as the state. It just seems odd. I don't know whether it was a different bloke or whoever it was, uh, Senator Brown, but I've got to recall you standing in here. Look, let's overturn the mandatory sentencing in the Territory. Yeah. How dare they have their own stand up in that place in the Northern Territory and have their own rights to determine how they deal with the criminal justice system in the Northern Territory. Let's use the Commonwealth powers in this place, in this Senate, to overturn them. Well, anyway, I'll, I'll, you can understand why I'm a little bit confused, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr Deputy President, in, in that regard. So I wonder what is the motive, because you know, you, you, one of the things you, must, you, you can't accuse the Greens of is uh, not being organised and not necessarily having a motive, and they do have a motive. There's a very clear motive here, and it's been indicated earlier, uh, uh, the, the cat has already been belled. If, if Kate Gallagher wasn't happy to stand up and say, Senator Farrell, that this is all about introducing same-sex marriages in the Australian Capital Territory, the previous Chief Minister, Mr Stanhope, certainly was. He said, absolutely, looking forward to introducing uh, same-sex marriages in the Australian Capital Territory because this piece of legislation that those on the other side have been forced uh, to accept and have been given foolish assurances and it's been foolish to accept those assurances, so those on the other side have accepted that that's the case. But she's not ruling it out. Well, of course she didn't rule it out. Of course the Gallagher didn't rule it out because that's exactly what's going to happen. As sure as night follows day, this is what will happen. And perhaps I can just, just paint briefly how that will occur. What this legislation does, in effect, is to say, instead of using the, uh, the tool of an executive arm of government to deal with those issues uh, that are not within the state's capacity to legislate on, things like marriage, things like starting your own navy, having your own currency, taxation, immigration, which the states wouldn't do, um, what we want to do now, if the territories play with that area, we're going to have to come back and have a full debate of parliament. And that takes a bit of time. So here we have, this is the scenario, the Australian Capital Territory passes a law on Monday uh, and, uh, well, we might just go and have a bit of a think about recalling parliament, if that's the will of the government. Yeah, we'd better get on some planes. Uh, maybe we'll have an emergency session a week later. In that period of time where people are lawfully married, for example in the Australian Capital Territory, what happens to them? They were lawfully married. 
It happened to them under something that was lawful. Does the Commonwealth then come back and say, oh, we've got some weird retrospectivity in all this about how we unwind this mess? Well, that's what I believe the motive for this is. And if, if, if you wish to have uh, same-sex marriages, there is a process to do that. I argue strongly in this place, uh, and one of the previous uh, contributions from Senator Brown in terms of the Restoring Territory Rights Voluntary Euthanasia Bill of 2010. I know that Senator Brown is a strong proponent of introducing euthanasia. And I supported that bill, not, not because of the basis that I thought euthanasia legislation was being supported or not. I supported it because it is entirely the right of a state to make that decision. Entirely the right of a state to make that decision. But I also would expect if the Northern Territory decided to start its own navy, its own currency, decide to start its own immigration system, that there would be an immediate action from the executive to deal with that. So that's just, just a little about motive and uh, uh, without a doubt that's what's going to happen. So those people on the other side who think that they are not part of something that will lead to what I have just described are at best fools. And I know the comfort, vaguely recall in my distant past, the comfort of being on that side. But remember, your constituents, when this happens, will remember those who led to that circumstance. If you want to introduce same-sex marriages, there is a way to go about that. You, are, you, you come to this place because it is the Commonwealth who should legislate appropriately for those things. Don't use some sort of a backdoor agenda to go and and go and deal with these issues. And sadly, in the Northern Territory, a few people are quite excited. They've rung me and they said, oh, they're really excited that this is going to give us more rights in the Territory. But once they have all the information, they also understand this is not uh, another step forward in terms of uh, uh, moving towards statehood. Um, I'd just like to speak briefly about uh, the uh, foreshadowed uh, amendment uh, uh, from uh, uh, Senator Humphreys. Senator Crossan said, this is something we can't possibly support because it doesn't do anything for the Northern Territory. Well, uh, I agree with that. She said, we don't want Self-Government Act revised. Of course I agree. We want it abolished. We want to move to statehood. The Australian Capital Territory, in the legislative framework, are an entirely different place to where we are in the Northern Territory. So I agree completely with her. Uh, but I'd like also Senator Crossan uh, and those people in the Territory to reflect on another uh, contribution from Senator Humphreys, is that uh, jointly we will be submitting uh, in the next week of Parliament uh, uh, a process that will start off to have a third income look at the self-government in the Australian Capital Territory and the movement to statehood in the Northern Territory that isn't just uh, a process that's on a couple of very small squeaky wheels. This will be a fair income process with a motive to move to strengthening self-government in the, in, in the Australian Capital Territory and moving to statehood in the Northern Territory. That will be the motive and that's what it will be about. I think that uh, for those Territorians who, who think uh, that uh, this will somehow advance statehood, I can promise you being astride a, a green horse with squeaky wheels is not the way to move forward in terms of statehood. Uh, look to the motive. This, this, this is an insult to those people uh, who are actually striving for statehood in the Northern Territory and looking for stronger self-government in the Australian Capital Territory because it is about none of those things. And on this side, we are clear-eyed and we are bright and we can see through the motive of this and we do not accept that this is about strengthening uh, issues for the Northern Territory and the Australian Capital Territory and that's why we will not be supporting this legislation.